Good morning, good morning, Big Square, RoadRoad.com. What's your morning horn of Z's? Your sip of coffee. Oh, yes, it is the last day here in Anarchapoco. Um, so we turned it up a little last night. It was very fun. Thanks for hanging out, everybody who hung out in the main lobby bar last night, late night. Uh, Jeff Berwick, oh my God, thank you so much for putting this together. I cannot tell you people how important it is for humanity to at least get a glimpse of a world without government. Um, if you want to solve any problem in the world, take away government. There is no doubt in my mind. Exchanges, absolutely, we should have no government. Why? Because all the market riggers would walk into that exchange. They're there now. They're just being covered by the government. Imagine if all market rigging was allowed on every exchange because there was no government. What would happen? People would walk away from the exchange. And they would only go to exchanges that were real. The, the criminal exchanges would fade away instantly. That's the future of cryptos. That's the future of gold and silver. That's the future of all markets. Get rid of the criminality. Get rid of the regulators. They're the worst of all the criminals because they cover and they benefit off the criminals. So take government out of markets. Get a free market. Yes, there will be manipulation. Absolutely. But you need to know about it. You can't have hidden manipulation that's condoned by the SEC, the CFTC, just beyond criminal. And I don't even think they know how criminal they are. I mean, the CFTC has always been laughed about because they had always hired the dumbest attorneys as the analysts. I can vouch for it. It's either a criminal or a stupid attorney at the CFTC, even today. Um, but these are the people who are telling you how to trade, how to act, that the markets are safe to go in. No, it's 100% rigged every trade every day. Why is the stock market going up? Because Steve Mnuchin clicked a little mouse in the basement of the U.S. Treasury. And I talk about this on the X-22 report spotlight. Everybody go there. I had a great discussion with Dave at X-22. Uh, the the um, talk is entitled, The Good Guys Already Won, Arrests Are Happening Behind the Scenes. Go check that out. That is an important discussion. Dave is a great interviewer. <clears throat> he asked the right questions, and, and I, was on, I was in the flow at the moment. So go check that out. Um, I've been in the flow down here at Anarchapoco. Sorry, I haven't uh, posted more, but um, more important things to do down here. Increasing your vibration, changing the world, interacting with other people who are out there trying to change the world, doing their best. It's up to you. It's up to all of us. I had people come up and say, oh, Bix, I love your work. You're really changing the world. I'm like, you can't do. All you got to do is tell a few of your friends that we can take back our sovereignty. We can take back our economic system. We can take back our health and wellness. We can take back our education system. It's just up to us. And you, personally, everybody can, can play their part in this evolution. So I will be talking more when I get home about some of the um, revelations I had down here. Uh, amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. I love it. A lot of stories about gold right now. Why? Because there's a secret gold market going on behind the scenes at all times. Don't, if you read it in the paper, it's not real. First of all, there's millions of tons of gold. There's not 240,000 tons. Like Jeffrey Christian and friends will tell you, it's bullshit. There's millions of tons of gold, but that doesn't mean it's un, you know, way overvalued. It's not. It's massively undervalued compared to the amount of U.S. dollars and fiat money that's out there. Gold has always been the key to the financial system. That's why they rig it so hard, as well as silver. But right now, you're seeing a lot of stories about gold, and people are just scratching their heads. Great article on Zero Hedge yesterday. Debunking Reuters story, People Bank of China blocked 300 to 500 tons gold import in 2019. Everything is a lie in the media. If it's released about gold or silver, it's a lie. So just toss it out. Toss it out. Don't worry. Your gold will go up in, in value if it's freely traded. Because they're printing a hell of a lot more U.S. dollars and not telling you about than the extra gold that they're going to find. There's 10 times the amount of gold. Always been part of the plan. It was the reason for the creation of the Federal Reserve System. All the gold found in the Grand Canyon, 
millions of tons, millions of tons, not millions of ounces, millions of tons in the Grand Canyon and around the entire world. There's millions of tons of gold. I don't think anybody really knows. Although Cliff High said there's a lot of guys from the USGS who are going from state to state, really getting a handle on how much natural resources are in the ground for the new monetary system. But that was before cryptos. We don't need gold in the monetary system. Every time I get with a gold bug, it's, it's their, their arguments are just fading away very fast. No, we don't need gold. Gold is a great store of value. We don't, the problem with gold is we don't know how much there is. And I think there's a lot of it. And you can always find some more gold at the bottom of the ocean. You can go mining down there. You can go into asteroids and other planets and mine. And we are moving in. There's a reason Trump created a space force. We're already in space. Get yourself some night vision goggles. You'll see it every night. So, yes, anything you read in the newspaper is a lie. Here's the, the latest lie is gigantic. Or maybe it's a cover-up. I don't know. But the UK apparently exported a massive amount, 12 billion pounds, which is about $15 billion worth of gold in the last two months of 2019 when all the crisis was hitting. Exported. Now, the UK is pretty smart when it comes to gold and silver. That's why they have all the, all the um, ETFs. The physical metal is stored in a, in a vault in London. Why? Because they know at the end of the day, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. It's the same thing with cryptos. It's the same thing with metal. They're doing the exact same thing. If you don't hold your metal when the, when the music stops, you got nothing. I'll guarantee you, England will confiscate all that gold. Absolutely. It's in their, it's in their borders. They're going to use it. Now, yeah, maybe. Now, they are deep into the dark side of the cryptos, so I don't know what's going on there. Speaking of dark side of crypto, so we had some weird shit go down last night. The crypto cabal is at an archipelago in force. You got to weed your way through the criminals. So I'll be talking about that more next week. But absolutely, there's so much more gold out there than they're saying. And this little piece of news that nobody's talking about, although it's, it was reported, which scares me, which means it was probably 10 times that. Nobody knows who owns what anymore? The whole system is falling apart. Countries are preparing for the end of the old monetary system. Yes, they're going to get as much gold as possible and silver and cryptos. I pray that you guys have cryptos. Just get, get all the big, you know, go to the top 20 and get a little bit of each except Tether. <laughs> Tether's ridiculous. It's a, it is invented by the crypto, the, what I call the crypto caval. There's 4.6 billion Tether out there, supposed to be backed by U.S. dollars or other assets, right? So 4.6 billion, but in the last 24 hours, 50 billion traded hands. That's how stupid that coin is. It's a fraud. All the crypto exchanges are a fraud. Get your cryptos out of there. I don't want to hear another story about someone saying, oh my God, I had money in XYZ exchange and it went down and I lost all my cryptos. If you do have money in there, you're an idiot. You deserve to lose it. That's what a free market is. Don't trust anybody but yourself. Today, get your cryptos in your own possession. How, do you, how can you tell if it's in your own possession? You could tell me your private key right now. You won't do that, but you could. If you can't tell me your private key, you don't own your crypto. Not even close, and it will go away. Do the homework. Go to YouTube. Figure out how to get cryptos in your own possession. Trezor is a great way. It's, it's, it's like the crypto storage for dummies. Get yourself a Trezor wallet from the manufacturer, not from some random online source because they're going to have different code in there. It's got to be from the manufacturer. I hope this is sinking in. It's so obvious here with these people. They're like, they get it. Most people here get it. Some don't, still. There's some gold and silver bugs running around here. I'm like, and who are, hey, cryptos will be more valuable if you, if you link them to gold and silver. I said, no, it's the exact opposite. Cryptos become less valuable when there's a third party involved. 
it should be obvious to everybody. Cryptos are a standalone asset. Now, gold and silver will probably become more valuable by adding a crypto because then you can fractionally reserve it. But you still got to trust third parties and no third party is going to be trustable. No, don't back cryptos with gold. Don't back gold with cryptos. They are standalone assets. Get them in your own possession and stop playing the games because you're going to lose and you're going to end up crying. Any centralized gold and silver vault will be national. Which means all the crypto vaults, the, the gold-backed crypto, they're going to nationalize those vaults and you're going to be crying in your, in your cereal. <laughs> in your cereal. Anyway, that's your morning horn of Z's. Um, it's the last day here in Arcapulco. Going to hang out and get some sun and um, relax. And then uh, I'll be back at the office at some point. And we're going to, I need to get on my high horse because Monday's a big day for repos. That's when they, I think they're releasing the FICC guarantee number. That's where the key repo is stuff is hiding. They're hiding it in the FICC numbers. If you're on road to Ruta on the private road, I give you an update every day that the repos are posted. And right now it's a hell of a lot. Over 700, over 750 billion was needed for this weekend. Yes, it is. Some of it's cumulative, and the cumulative keeps catching up to the criminals because they keep rolling over. Oh, no, it's just short-term repos. No, it's not because you keep rolling them over. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and as we approach the end of the third, the first quarter, you're going to see another spike like the end of 2019. Keep an eye on that date. I will give uh, Private Road members updates, and I also post it on the Patreon channel. It's only 10 bucks a month. Private Road is $199, or $299, $299 per year, and you get a silver coin, the coolest coin ever, and a Veritasium token. That's your lottery ticket, by the way, um, for the one-year membership. And you get everything that goes on Patreon. Patreon, you get about half as much, but it's only 10 bucks a month. So go check out either of them. Subscribe today. Follow the Road Ruta. This is Bix. I'll talk to you guys later. Litecoin, baby, Litecoin. That's the right coin. Absolutely, 100%. So, yes, I, I brought the band tonight. They're going to come up in a little bit. I got a couple songs I want to play for you. Again, I've been pumping the Anarcho Poco Conference for a reason. I think it's fun. I think it's transformative. It's crazy. It's weird. Absolutely. It's not safe. It's, it's so far from safe. I don't know why, but we've always had a good time. Uh, but I wrote a song about freedom fighters and what the links they will go to. I was in Mexico talking to these guys at the Narcapalco conference and I go, I was bitching and moaning that it took me like 12 hours to get down there because I went through Mexico City. They said it took us four days. I'm like, what do you mean it took four days to get here? And they said, well, we took a train. I'm like, you can't take a train. They were from Chicago. You can't take a train from Chicago to Acapulco, Mexico. And they said, oh yeah, you can. I'm like, no, you cannot. They do it hobo style. They hopped trains to get to an Arcapoco. So I wrote a song about them. It's called An Arcapoco, Here We Come. It's got train sounds. Uh, so we'll see if this works. Baby, 
longer rip your free Cause the rules are thrown away Day is night and night is day And the only thing they ask Give everyone a pass Be the way you'll be when your life is truly free Going crazy all day, all night Until you're done Everybody singing Knock a popo, here we come Knock a popo, here we come Knock a popo, here we come Gonna rise against the man Gonna tear down what we can It's the way I life should be It's the way it should be free And knock a poco, here we come And knock a poco, here we come You wanna change the world Hop on the train and run Everybody's singing Knock a poco, here we come Yeah, it's fun. <laughs>